Good morning, you guys. It is time for your health check. And you know, new data released by the CDC reveals that women are more likely to experience symptoms of depression and anxiety than men. So first we want to know why. And on this Motivation Monday, what can we do about it? Joining me with some answers is licensed professional counselor and founder of the Brain Performance Center in Dallas, Lee Richardson. Good morning, Lee. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Well, thank you for being here. First, what is the science behind why women are more affected by these negative feelings and emotions and really mental health disorders? Well, there is some science behind it because there, there are differences in the male brain and the female brain. Why does the male brain want to fight and win? It's got a larger amygdala. Why does the male brain respond to emotion with logic? It's got your temporal parietal connection. And when you think about it, emotional memory plays a much stronger role with women than it does men. And that's because it's got a larger insulin hippocampus. So, but there's more to it than that. I think that men do experience depression and anxiety, but I think that men are not as ready to ask for help and admit that they need help as women are. Hmm. So physical differences in the brain, that's pretty interesting. Uh, when it comes to women, how can they, we, uh, maintain positive mental health? I think that women have a hard time with self-care. We take care of everybody else in our life, our family, and we don't stop and take care of ourselves. We think taking care of ourselves is a luxury item. Oh, I'll take a bubble bath or I'll watch Netflix all day and drink a bottle of wine. And those are temporary fixes. Self-care is more than that. It's tapping in into your inner self. It's thinking about what you're grateful for, being mindful, and being mindful is nothing more than staying in the moment. Mm, I love that. Present. Yeah, certainly. Uh, in your book, Turn Your Brain On to Get Your Game On, you talk about how in this age of distraction, really, our brains are constantly stimulated. I tell my yoga students this all the time. We're working overtime. You say that science tells us we need to take a step back, but how do we do that? What we need to do is focus on the positive events in our life. Research shows we have three times more positive than we do negative. But what does the brain remember? The brain remembers the negative. We, it's how we pay attention and what we pay attention to that can make a difference. Pivot to the positive, I love it. Lee, thank you so much for taking the time to motivate us to take good care of our brains this morning.